My name is Zahara Mohammed. I am, this is my second year on the Multnomah Youth Commission and I'm co-chair of the entire commission this year. This was the swearing-in ceremony. Um, it's the event where all of the new youth commissioners come together and get sworn in and get into their p official positions and official titles. We're going to begin, I believe, by hearing the youth engagement report. The youth engagement report is a report of all the work that we do in the past year. Um, the youth engagement report exemplifies all of the work that the Multnomah Youth Commission does as well as the pro extra projects that we take on. The biggest event that the Multnomah Youth Commission puts on is the Rob Ingram Youth Summit Against Violence. It's put on by the Youth Against Violence Committee and its goal is to end violence um, in all shapes and forms in the Portland Metro area. It's going to be a very interesting year for you all. There are, <laughs> there are um, some looming issues at the federal level, state level, tough choices to be made at the local level. Uh, we will need your fresh eyes and creative thinking now more than ever. So congratulations uh, to those that were just sworn in. Thank you to those that served before. So once again, thank you for your service and for bringing the important voice of youth to us. We really appreciate all that you do. Thank you for the opportunity to work with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As the parent of two teenagers. I know that not all teenagers are doing this. Um, and I want to acknowledge and thank those of you who are. It's a tremendous gift to our county and to our city. So my name is Julie Petrakubi. I'm a PhD student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And I studied the Youth Commission over the 2010-2011 year. Um, the Youth Commissioners are very diverse in terms of their backgrounds. And what I found in interviewing and focus groups with young people and alumni who have been involved in the Youth Commission is that being involved in the Youth Commission impacts their civic development in many ways. Um, one way is that they learn really practical skills around advocacy and outreach and how to think strategically. They also, also um, gain in terms of their empowerment, their sense that they are um, legitimate civic actors, that young people, especially young people from marginalized communities, can feel that government is a place where they belong, where their voice is um, desired and where they feel heard. Um, and the other thing that um, we heard from young people is that they have an increased sense of purpose or a sense that they want to set goals not just that benefit themselves but benefit their larger community. And a number of the young people I interviewed um, who are alumni remain involved in local government or involved as community activists or are really, really interested in continuing to remain involved in community work. My best advice to any Multnomah Youth Commissioners, new or old, is just to work hard, um, be really passionate about the work that you do because it makes the work a lot easier, and try and reach out to as many people as you can because the more connections you have, the easier your work will become.